Hey guys, welcome back to day 16 of TSG's 25 videos of Christmas tutorials, and it's also part 7 in the Firebase series. So this is the Vehicle Depot, which is a pretty medium-sized build. It's not too difficult. There's just an area down here, which I'll explain later in the build. Uh, just to know, this is another one of those pre-recorded tutorials, so this was recorded quite a while ago. From this point on, uh, this take isn't. This is, uh, you know, during the Christmas season, so... And the rest of it was something like July, I think, so... Yeah, anyway, with that, I'll see you on layer 1. Goodbye. Okay, so as with all the other buildings in this series, we need to use this blank socket. So obviously we did this socket in a separate tutorial, and then obviously what you want to do from there is just fill it in with uh, gr uh, gray cyan stained clay, or you can also use gray concrete now if you want to. Uh, and I will be starting to use that material instead of cyan, so yeah. But for this one, for now, we are going to use cyan stained clay. We can always replace that if we want to, but yeah. So obviously we've got this blank and that's what we want to start off with. So what you also need is yellow and black concrete. So what you want to start off with is just go over to this left hand side where the ramp is and then you're going to go to this bit here. And what you want to do, oh also you will need uh, quartz or white concrete. What we're going to do is just start off with a white concrete layer all the way around and this is going to go all the way to the corner like so and then there, there and there. Obviously, this is just going to be all filled in. I won't skip ahead because I want to show you exactly how to do this. So, yeah, you just want to fill all this in with white. Like so. Now, this tutorial should take around 40 to uh, 55 minutes-ish. I'm not sure about that yet. Depends how it goes. There will be a, uh, or there will have been a kind of thing on screen which showed you the build time. So, that should already have uh, come up. Uh, so yeah, hopefully not too long. If it goes over an hour, it's going to be a bit disappointing because uh, I don't want to make them all an hour long, but yeah. And we're just finishing it, this uh, line off here. You may have noticed with a few of my recent tutorials, I've tried to go a bit faster. And yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty fun to go fast, but then you run out of breath very quickly. So <laughs> yeah. Anyway, coming to this uh, front left corner where the ramp is, you're going to go uh, just here and do a black concrete, then yellow, black and yellow. This is basically what you're going to do all the way around. It's just going to be an alternating pattern. So it's going to be yellow here. And then you can do one. Uh, so this one, I'm not sure the length of. Uh, I think it's one, two, three, four. So you're going to do five black concrete. So one, one there, two, three, four, five. And then fill the gaps in with yellow. And then, yeah, that should be, uh, should be it. So, yeah. And then a, a corner to that. So that's here on the right you're going to do a yellow then a black yellow black yellow and black so you should get that now once you've done that that should be uh should be fine uh let me just check that's right okay so moving over from that you're going to basically come to uh, to here so on this uh right hand side at the top you're going to find the second green uh stained clay and you're going to uh, go to the uh, the white concrete here. You're going to take a temporary block and you're going to do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that is. Or seven, actually. Do seven uh, from the white. Make sure you've done that right here. So, again, just past this row of cyan. You're going to do two uh, green there. And then it's in from that. So that's seven there. Then the black concrete goes there. And then we're basically going to just do this all the way down. And you're going to do, uh, let's see how many it is. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. eight black concrete in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then, so yeah, that's eight there. And then you're going to go to the left and do seven. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, this isn't a, 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 a square. So yeah, you don't need to. Um, worry about that it's not a square it's a rectangle so obviously this one's eight black concrete and this one's seven so yeah it's definitely a rectangle not a square okay so uh, do the same thing over here just do a row of black concrete again uh, and it should just line up with the other one uh, just nicely just like that now what you want to do here is a, a uh, angle to that so kind of a corner like so you're gonna do another black one uh, like so and then just join that up uh, by doing a row of black around like so and it should just line up like that should get a, a equal space in between all of the black concretes except this uh, this row here now between all of those you're now going to do yellow concrete just to uh, 
made that pattern. Kind of like a B. So yeah, just like so. Now, obviously we've got this uh, bit here and this is what's gonna be emptied out and we're gonna make a hole here. So what you wanna do is just empty this. But before we do that, what I wanna show you is just a little bit you need to, uh, to mark out. What you wanna do is come to here, leave one, two, three, and four, and then put two uh, yellow concrete there. That's four of the cyan, not including this row here, so it should be uh, just there like so. And you're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, uh, just like so. And then this time you're gonna do one, two, three, and then leave leave two cyan there. Uh, that's what you wanna do, so three, leave two cyan, and then the rest of this can be hollowed out. Now obviously it's dirt under there for now, but we will, uh, we will fix that afterwards. So yeah, so make sure you leave the, uh, those two cyan there like that. <clears throat> and you're also going to do the same thing on the other side, just leave those two cyan um, in the opposite, kind of. Yeah, you'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute. <laughs> As for the rest of it though, just hollow it out, um, it's fine. I'll do an overhead view in a second just to, uh, to show you. So there we go, that's what you should have. Okay, now once you've done that, that's going to be it for the first layer, so now we can move on to layer 2. Okay, so as I was saying, this layer is very complicated, so you're going to need all these materials. So you're going to need uh, yellow concrete, sand terracotta, stone, green, uh, and stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, stone slab, iron bars, red concrete, and actually a few other materials as well, which I couldn't fit in the inventory. Uh, so yeah, let's start off over here, and we'll get rid of these uh, red as quickly as possible. So what you want to do is come to this corner here. Uh, you want to find that kind of, uh, so this back left corner by the way, you want to just go to this last uh, on the straight edge and then go out by two and find this one, you're going to put that there, that's going to be the red, you can do three and then three here and three here. Now we are going to jump up a layer and also do three again and three again and we're going to do the same thing over here uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, so yeah next up you're going to take your, let's see, green concrete, you're going to start just here, you're going to do uh, one there. And then go back by one, two, three, four, five, six. So you should do six in total. And then do uh, one at a corner here like that. And then one, two. And you're just gonna bring this all the way to the front actually. And then line up with that uh, quartz there. Or not quartz, sorry, uh, white concrete. Gotta get used to not using quartz. <clears throat> Once you've done that, you're gonna take a row of stone brick stairs. You're gonna do uh, three, four, seven of those. So three, four, five, six, seven. I think that is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I, th I think that like, definitely seven. Then green again, and then one here, one here, one here. Take a stone brick stairs, put that there. You'll also need rails in a minute, but yeah, like I said, we'll have to get to those uh, in a bit. Uh, so from there, you're going to take your green terracotta again, go to here, do one there, and then this goes across this time. Now this is going to go all the way to uh, to there. So what you want to do is when you get to here, you're going to bring that down by one block, okay? Then just out by two more, put a iron bars there, and you can throw away the iron bars now, and bring out a rail. So once you got to that, you also need a andesite, so I'm gonna replace stone with andesite for now, and you're gonna put two andesite there, then two green next to that, polished andesite here, then a green, then a polished andesite again. Now, uh, let's see. For now, throw away the uh, the polished andesite, bring out stone. You're gonna put two stone there, and then a stone slab, and then leave a gap of three here. So this is gonna be, uh, let's use temporary lock, one, two, three. Stone there, stone slab there. So you should have that now. Now what you're gonna do is take a uh, set of two stone slabs on top of the yellow we did last time, and then put two yellow in front of those stone slabs. And then in front of that yellow, you're going to do two sets of stone slabs like so. Same thing again on this side. So uh, two slabs there, two yellow, and two sets of slabs like so. Now, if you want to finish these little prongs off, uh, start by doing two stairs like that, and then two around like so. Same thing again, just like this. Uh, so yeah, just like that. Now, you can't do the same for these gray ones, uh, or cyan, whatever. You're going to start off with two yellow concrete and two upside down stairs. Now the yellow concrete goes over the top of the uh, the pattern, the checkered pattern we did last time. 
and then the stairs go over the uh, the gray. So you should just get that. Okay, now once you've done that, you can throw away the yellow, and we're going to bring back andesite. So yeah. Okay. So uh, let's see. From there, you're going to take your rails. You're going to do uh, start with this stair here. Do two rails. Then taking your uh, stone brick stairs, you're going to do one face in uh, that way, and then one face in that way again, and then one face in that way. So you should get this. Now you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's six, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Now do the uh, same thing again that we did there. So that goes there, there, and there. Now do uh, two more rails and then a corner one is going to go here and that's going to curve around and this is going to go all the way across up to there so up to where that last uh, or second to last black concrete is <coughs> excuse me so yeah now once you've done that uh, where these last two rails are you're going to do two underside two underside two underside and you're just going to leave that there for now put a uh, stone slab here and you're going to bring this all the way down up until uh, I don't have a measurement for that but just put it to there uh, so it should be like that. Same thing again here. So for this one, because there is such kind of like a, a mess, I am going to just do it by eye and show you it by eye rather than give an actual exact measurements. It's just too hard for that. So yeah, and then just fill this in with uh, with stone bricks. In fact, leave one off the end there. So you should get that now. Okay, so if you need a minute to look at that, all of that in its entirety, then have a look because it is pretty complicated. So yeah. Now, uh, you need cobblestone wall. I got rid of the rails, didn't I? Yeah. Taking cobblestone wall, uh, you're going to start by doing one, two, three, four. Same thing again, one, two, three, four. Uh, just like so. Although this time, do five, actually. And then just one there at an angle, like so. Now, take your stone, and you're going to do two there, two there, two there, two there. Leave a gap of one. Same thing again, this uh, kind of round shape, like so. And also cyan, you're going to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like so. And finally, just a cobblestone wall there and there. And that's going to wrap up uh, this side of the build, really. So moving over to here. Hmm. Okay, so from there, taking your red concrete, we can get rid of this once we've done this little bit. And we won't need it again, I don't think. So what you want to do is just come to this andesite here, leave a gap of one, and do three. Three here, and three here, like so. And then just do the same thing on top, but uh, like in the middle of those blocks, like so. And those are the, uh, the the barrels. Now, I did do some barrels on the actual fire base itself, but this was before concrete was introduced, so I will be uh, doing a little fixes video, changing the, uh, the materials around for that. So yeah, now you can throw that red concrete away. Now, coming to the, uh, the other side of the barrels, uh, you're going to start just here, leave a gap of one from this middle one, and do a uh, cyan there and there. Then do a cobblestone wall on either side, like so. Taking your uh, stone slabs, you're going to basically do uh, two here, two here. And if I do this right, this should join up with, uh, with the thing we did before with the andesite. So you've got two there, two there, and then two here, like so. Then do one, two, three. And then two, two, and two. Phew, there we go. Right, good. Last little bit, just do three cyan, like so. And a, uh, a stone brick stair on the end, like that. And the last little bit, like tiny little bit, is just uh, taking your. So we need st uh, sandstone stairs, that's a mouthful. And smooth sandstone. God, this is hard to say. I'm going to put the smooth sandstone there, and then these stairs, like so. Upside down. And then on the other side, I'm going to put the uh, smooth there, smooth there, and smooth there. And then just three upside down stairs here. Oh, sorry, just two actually. And then two on this side as well. So you should get that now. And if you got that, then that's fine. Uh, put those away for now. Whew. Okay, so that should be it for that layer, I think. Uh, let me check. I think it is. Okay. Right, so on to layer two or three or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Alright, so if this one don't bother like reorganizing your inventory or anything, it's just it's pointless really. So you want to start off with these little chimney stacks again. Just do a same row of stone around like so, same uh, cyan as before. Just start with the simple stuff really, get that out of the way. 
And you also need, uh, so I think you can get rid of stone. Actually, before we get rid of stone, we're going to do this over here. So you can start with, uh, let's see. Uh, so that would go. So you're going to do a stone there, and then a slab, and then two stone, and a slab, like so. Same thing again, slab here, two stone, slab there. Now you can get rid of uh, stone. And you want to get out cobblestone wall. Okay. You're going to put that just there there and wrap it around again as before and then same thing again with these two uh, you also want to do two cobblestone walls here it's one little thing I forgot to do there's another thing over there that I didn't do before uh, but we'll get to that in a minute so once you've done this bit just take your uh, green terracotta again you're gonna just do the same layer around uh, like so one there then a cyan here this time and then two cobblestone walls then a cyan two cobblestone walls and a cyan then do a green here, green here, and one cyan. This is going to go all the way across, uh, up to there, do a cyan, green, and then do a three here, and you're going to take iron bars again, put one there, then do two andesite, and two green, then an andesite, then a green, then an andesite. And that's good. Now next thing you want to do is just put a uh, single cyan there, and also one there as well. So you should have this. It, the reason I didn't do it last time was because on the model that I'm using to reference from, it kind of blended in with the under layer, so yeah. And you also need to do the same thing here, so two there like that. And then just do a row of green around, and the same thing again with the cobblestone walls, just copy the same as last layer. And you're going to do another stone brick stair like so. That's going to be a console, um, same as the one from the... Uh, field armory I think it was so yeah uh, last little bit for this section just do another row of uh, seven stairs like so uh, so that should be let's see over here yeah okay anyway once you've done that that's gonna be it for that layer I just have realized that that is actually hollow and it's not meant to be I will fill it in afterwards though so don't worry about that uh, let's fly back over here. Ah, so, last little bit. So you're going to get the uh, throw away the cobblestone wall for now. Uh, bring out yellow stained concrete. Or just yellow concrete, actually. Uh, you're going to do one just there. Two concrete like that and two stairs. Same thing again. Like that. Okay. And yeah, once you've done that, the last thing we need to do is over here. So we're going to start off with uh, six polished andesite again. This time do a smooth sandstone, tri not triangle, but like uh, that shape, really. Uh, and then one, two, three, four cyan. And then this time, instead of doing slabs, we're going to do andesite. So it's going to be like uh, just covering over what we did with the slabs, really. Like so. And then two cyan there. And then two uh, cobblestone walls on either side. It does get easier. This is kind of one of those builds where it's difficult to the bottom and then gets kind of less complicated towards the top. And yeah, just fill that in with uh, with smooth sandstone, like so. And that's going to be it, I think, for that layer. So yeah, moving on to layer three or four. Alrighty, so we're going to start this one off by just kind of getting rid of a few materials by actually finishing off what they're used for. So here we've got two iron bars, you're going to do two more on top of that and leave that there and that's going to just get rid of the iron bars for us. Uh, we're going to get our light blue stained glass and we're going to put that on top of these stairs here. We can get rid of that now. And yeah, uh, we can just do this bit over here with the smooth sandstone. Uh, so what you want to do is just two there, two stairs like so, two stairs like so, then the sandstone goes there. Do three sign here and a stair like that. And then on this side here, you're just going to do a sandstone, then a stair, and then a stone slab like that. Throw away those two sandstone objects. Uh, I don't think they're used again, so that's good. I guess since, since we're here, we can actually finish this bit off, I guess. So do three and three again, so six on the side in total. And then just taking your stone slabs, you're going to go over what we did last time. Same thing again, like so. When you get to here, just do the uh, same thing as before. Anyway, once you got that, that's going to be uh, it for that whole section. So, moving over to here, you're going to take stone brick stairs, do two there and two there. 
Same thing again. Two there. Two there, like so. Now we are getting close to finishing this bit off. This joins up, and yeah, it's, it's good. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, once you've done that, we move over to here. Do a cyan there, cyan there. I know this is done in a really weird order, but yeah. Taking your stone, you're going to do just two here like that, two here like that. Then a slab there, slab there. And yeah, that's going to be uh, it for that a little bit. So moving back from that, we're going to do a stone just there. And then two cyan and a stone brick stairs like so. Uh, now that's going to be part of a little, I think it's kind of a, a, a pipe or something that carries stuff down from over here to, uh, to there. But yeah. And yeah, we can now uh, join this up. So what you want to do from there is, give me a minute, just let me fl fly back over. You want to put an upside down stair under here, and then taking your sign, you're going to join this up to there. Okay. Uh, now once you've done that, that's going to be it for that section. So moving over here. Just do the same uh, pattern as before with the amber side and the green. Same as before, really, no changes there. Uh, like so, it's going to be, although this time there's going to be two sign here, and then taking your stairs, you're going to do two, and then a green, and then one, two, three, four, and then green again, one, two, cyan, and then two uh, cobblestone walls, cyan, two cobblestone walls, cyan, and then green around just like this. Okay, and then when you get to there, just do the same thing again around here with the green, and now for this section, you're going to do one, two, uh, cyan, then one and two there. Take your uh, yellow concrete and you're going to put that in the gap. So one there, one there. Now, like I mentioned last layer, there is a gap here. Uh, so you want to fill that in with cyan and cyan again. Okay. And once you've done that, last thing we need to do is just these uh, smoke stacks. So you're just going to do the exact same thing as last time. Uh, this time there's less cobblestone walls though, so that's uh, that's pretty good. Two there, two there, like that, and the cyan on the front, like so, and that's going to be it. Okay, so once you've done that, that's it for layer three. So on to layer four. Right, so for this one you're going to need basically the same materials. Don't bother throwing any away, but this is way more simple. And I'm actually going to do two layers in one for this one, just to speed up a bit. You're going to start with the stone slabs. You're going to do two there, two there, and you can throw that away for this layer, so that's good. Uh, now we're going to finish off this boom thing uh, that goes across here. So you're going to start by going to these uh, standard stone brick stairs, do two there, two there as well. And now you can join that up with the yellow concrete, uh, which is good. And now you want to get out iron bars, you just need those very shortly again. You're going to put those on the end of that yellow concrete and then throw those away again. Now taking your stone brick stairs, you're going to do uh, corner ones like so. And then just, yeah, just corners all the way around. Uh, and joins up again like that. And that's basically it for that boom. So then coming to here, you're gonna take stone, you're gonna do one there, one there, and then a stone brick stairs on top of that. On these uh, cyan stacks, you're gonna do two more cyan on both of those, like so. Just do a stone brick slab on top of that uh, computer monitor thing. It's really like, it's not really good to represent a monitor, but. Uh, kind of, it's it's the way that these are scaled. It would be uh, a good monitor if players were bigger, but they're not. So yeah, or if this building was smaller. But yeah, once you've done that, you're just gonna do uh, two here, two here, two here, two here, and then taking your cyan, uh, you're just gonna do a row across times two. No uh, variance in color or anything. And then this is gonna be the exact same. You're just gonna do a row of green across uh, times two, like so. And then when you get to here, this is uh, where it changes a little bit. So you're going to do uh, one here, and then three in the middle, one there. Then a cobblestone wall on either side. And then this time on top, you're going to go across and just cap it off like that. So you get this, uh, basically. Do two green there, two green there. Do a set of uh, cyan like that. And two green in the middle. And then you want to do uh, two stone brick stairs, and then this is just going to be uh, cyan again. And then just green around again as usual. Uh, this time the uh, the andesite only needs to go up three layers and then it goes to green. So yeah. And then when you get to here this time uh, what you want to do is just start off with an andesite, then a green, then an andesite, then a stone. Now the green can come across uh, and that goes over the top. 
and then the green actually joins up with uh, with that stair there like that and goes across to this stair here and then joins up with that uh, cyan there like so and yeah I think that's uh, about it for that layer uh, which is good so let me just check that real quick uh, yeah good so that seems to be everything so now the build is gonna get very simple so that's great uh, really great so yeah let's get on to layer five I think yeah Alright, so for this one, you don't need the yellow concrete anymore, you don't need the uh, the andesite, so that's good. You can start off with the uh, green to begin with, start off by doing a uh, corner here like so. This is going to go all the way to the back again as usual. And then when you get to, uh, to here, this time you're going to do one there, and a cobblestone wall, and then three stone in the middle, then a cobblestone wall again, and then a, uh, a green on the end. Or was it a, uh... oh yeah, sorry, that's meant to be a cyan. And then a cyan on the end like that. Then just green here, and then two green this time, and three cyan, then a green there, and then three cyan again, green there, and then this just corners off as, uh, as usual. Then when you get to here, this time instead of going all the way to the end, you're gonna go just two before the end, and then just do one, two, three, like so. You will also need packed ice very temporarily for this layer, but we will need that quite regularly now uh, for the rest of them. So you're actually going to do, uh, let's see, one, oops, bear with me, okay, four, uh, four green actually, give me a second. So yeah, here just do another green, and then four stone brick stairs like so, and then three packed ice, and then two green terracotta like that, and then come in at a uh, right angle like so. Now once you get to, to the, uh, let's see. You want to go to that one, I think. Yeah. So once you get to that stair there, uh, stop and then do three lime, like so, and a cyan here. Now, obviously, that mirrors this one, so that one goes there, one cyan there, like that. And then instead of doing a green like that, you want to do three stairs, like so, and then do three green here, and then two green uh, all the way across, like this, and that should go to just there. Uh, you can fill that one in as well uh, if you want to. And then in this gap here, you're going to use uh, stone brick stairs upside down, like so. Now, once you got that, that's going to be it for the. Uh, oh, actually, that's it for that layer. So yeah, moving on to the next layer. Alrighty, so for this one, we're going to start off just here, do another sign here and here. This time, we're going to do the kind of uh, overhang for this bit. So what joins these up? So once you've done the sign on both of those, you're then going to do a row of three top half slabs like so on either one towards the middle. And then you're going to leave a gap of one, do the exact same thing. Now these should be floating for now and that's fine. So you should get this. Now what you want to do here is, uh, actually before we carry on, just do uh, green terracotta. You're going to do uh, two here like that. Uh, and then this is going to go all the way back to there. Okay, now once you've done that, just take your end rods and you're going to do two there and then two there, two there, and basically just all the way down, do two end rods really, uh, like so. Obviously, when you get to this end, there isn't anything here yet. What you want to do here is just three green, and then this is going to go across and it's going to just do the same thing as last time uh, around here, like so. This time, instead of doing a pattern here, we're going to do uh, just cyan, go to the back, uh, same thing again. It's just just going to be green. There's no uh, no variance there. Then this time, just do one, two, three, like so. And then the stairs are going to carry on like so. And then three packed ice, and that joins up, and that's going to be it. Uh, actually, the last thing, just sea lanterns. You're going to put one float in there, and one float in just there like that. And once you got that, that's it for that layer. So moving on to the next layer. So for this one, you can start off with uh, stone slabs. You're going to do a row of them across here. So what you want to do is start off with this uh, cyan pillar on the left. Join it up with the cyan pillar on the right. And that should go over the top of the kind of roll bars we made last time. Not really sure what to call those, to be honest. Do uh, three lime here. This should be just on top of the, uh, the green from last time. Just do one there, and then one, two, three, four, five. And then two lime here. This time do a cobblestone wall. And the rest of this is going to be lime all the way across. Uh, so just like this. Now uh, over here, when you get to the uh, to the back here, just do uh, a row of one, two, three, 
uh, upside down stairs like so. So yeah. And then the rest of this is just going to be a row of uh, lime across here. Now don't do a corner like that, you want to just do a corner here. And then this is what's going to kind of go all the way across to there. And then do uh, three, uh, sorry, four stone brick stairs and yeah. Now you also need to do some stairs here, so this is going to be, uh, let's see, whereabouts, okay. All the way across is just going to be stone brick stairs like that. So it should taper in. Now do uh, three packed ice here. And then uh, just skip a little bit, you're going to do a uh, lime there, lime there. And then this is going to go all the way across uh, and join up, let's see, to that. So what you should get here is kind of a taper. Um, and you should end up looking like that. Okay, so once you've done that, take your uh, cold stone walls, you're going to do uh, three here, just like so. Now, taking your stone brick stairs, you're just going to do one here, and an upside down one there, and you're going to do that on all of the uh, stone brick top slabs. Just like so. And uh, that's what's going to connect the, uh, the things to the roof, really, so yeah. Once you got that, just do uh, two green here, like so. Uh, well, it would be like that, but then obviously you've got a gap there, so fill that in. Uh, last little bit, just do a row of green across here, like so, and this is going to join up with the end, and that's going to do another one there as well. And then just do three green here, and then two green just there. Do two packed ice, two packed ice, and then three packed ice, three packed ice, like so. You should have that, and now that's going to be it for that layer, so moving on to the next layer. Okay, so you no, no longer need the uh, packed ice or the end rod or the stone slab. Um, for now at least, I don't think you need them again now. Uh, you might need the stone slab actually. But yeah, just keep these ones, you don't need all of them for this layer, but definitely will need them again, so yeah. I'm going to start off here at the front with uh, with lime stained clay, and you're going to put two stairs on top of that. Then you're going to do a row of uh, four by two, like so. And then just here, you're going to do a row of sign, and this is going to go all the way to the other end, uh, like so. Uh, so yeah, that's just going to go up to where the uh, the stairs are on the previous layer, so just there. Once you've done that, you're going to take your uh, green, and you're going to bring this all the way to the other side. Uh, so this starts on the front sign block, and goes across, like so. And that's going to end just, uh, let's see where it is. I can't even see from here, to be honest. Uh, let's just assume it goes to here for now. I think it does actually. <clears throat> and then taking your sign, you're going to do one, two, three, four. And then three green, like so. And then this is just going to go across uh, here and join up with that. Now taking your stonework stairs, just do a row of these across, uh, like so. And that's going to go up to there, uh, like that. Okay, and once you got that, that's going to be it for the little, that little bit. And then just do a uh, stair there, and then two cyan here on that little uh, overhang. So, once you got that, last little thing you need to do is just take your green and do a row across here like that. Okay, final bit for this layer is a row of cyan, and that's going to go across here. So, that's going to uh, go across the top of the upside down stairs we did last layer. And I think that goes to, uh, to there, but... We'll, we'll see, I guess. Uh, so, yeah. Also, just put a row of uh, three cobblestone walls there just to keep that consistent. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, go to this side, and you're going to go to just here, do a row of uh, stairs, like so. And then row of stairs across like this. Now, there's something in the way on my model, on my MC edit model. There we go. That goes up to there, and then do two uh, lime, just like that. I hope that's right, I think that's right, let me check. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is I'm not doing the smokestacks at the minute. I know I did part of them, but I've uh, stopped doing them, I'm going to do them at the end, so yeah, don't worry about that. <clears throat> it was just a pain having to do it every single layer. But yeah, once you've done this, then you can just fill this in with the green. Uh, so yeah, just all of this. Now there is no interior, and if you do go inside this, you will see into all the like, all the exposed areas um, so it's not really intended for being uh, used as an actual play space but if you want to adapt it to that and actually uh, build a interior for that go ahead and if you want to show me that just send it to me on Twitter um, probably just I don't know how Twitter works but like the equivalent of tagging me in it I guess so yeah 
Anyway, that's going to be it for that layer, so moving on to the next layer. Okay, so for this one, uh, you're going to start with uh, getting a sea lantern, a polished andesite, and a stone slab. You need those for this layer. You're going to start off over here, just take a cyan and a stair, like that. Put a uh, stair here as well. Then just do one, two, and uh, three with your green. And then go inside by one layer, and do one, two, three, four, five, six, and one there. And put two cyan just like that. Taking your uh, green, you're going to go to here, do one there. And then this is just going to go all the way across and go over this kind of uh, beam that we made last layer. And it's going to go just to there. So you should get this. Now this area here, uh, where this gap is, is going to be where a uh, kind of uppermost layer stands, which is going to be there, as you can see. Uh, so yeah. This is pretty much the final layer where we do this section and also this section, so yeah. After this point, it's going to be mostly just inside this area here. So yeah. Taking your cyan terracotta, you're going to start by doing uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Um, in fact, knock that block out there and then do two cyan here. Leave a gap of two and do two cyan here. And then just do two cyan there as well and a green. Now, I know there is a gap here and you want to use, let's see what I used to fill that in on this one. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> I didn't actually. Uh, okay, that's awkward. Okay, just take the sign and just fill that in. Uh, oh no, I've trapped myself. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so yeah, once you've done that, uh, you got this. Now you want to take your stone brick stairs, do two there, and then wrap it around. And then go to the end, wrap it around again. And yeah, just like this. Okay. Now once you've done that, the last little bit for this is just two slabs, two slabs, two slabs with your stone. Now moving over to here, you're going to take your andesite. You're going to go to this block here, do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, so three by three. Then taking your stone brick slabs, you can do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like this, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on that side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on that side. And then just do two here, one there, sea lantern there, and also a sea lantern there as well. Stay in slab there, one, two, three, four, slab there. Sorry, uh, two there like that. And then. Okay, uh, now once you got this, just do uh, stone slabs across there. And then in the middle, stone brick slabs. You're gonna go all the way down, leave two off like that. And then taking your stone, so now you need stone, replace the andesite with stone. You're gonna go all the way down, uh, go one past what we just did. And same thing again. This time we're going to go three short of the uh, this stone we just did. So it's like that. If you need a minute to check that out. Have a little look. There we go. Just do a stone brick stairs on the end. And then one, two, three, four slabs. And then here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like so. And that's going to be it for that layer. So moving on to what could possibly be the final layer. But I'm, I don't think so. I'll try though. Alright, so you don't need the sea lantern anymore, and I don't think you need the stone. Uh, I'm not going to do it all in one layer, I'm just going to keep going, keep pushing on. You do need the andesite there. You're going to, on top of this 3x3, uh, three three, you're going to do 3, 3, uh, oh sorry, 3, 2, and 3, and then a stone brick stairs there. Now do, uh, taking your cyan, do 2, 2, 2, just like so. Uh, you're just going to go over what we did last layer with the green, with another layer of green really, um, although there is a slight difference. So on this one here, instead of doing a row of green, you're just going to do uh, one on either end and then four uh, sign in the middle. Taking your corner stair, uh, you're going to put that just there and then wrap it round uh, and bring that to the front. So you should have this. And then on the front, you're going to do a cyan, cyan, stair, stair. And then two stairs facing towards each other like so. Okay, and that's going to be it for that layer. So moving on to the next one. Uh, in fact, I can do this as one recording uh let's quickly just whoa give me a second guys so the weather's pretty nice <laughs> okay all right here we go so what we're going to do next is take your uh stairs you're going to do two stairs like that and then a set of uh, six andesite like so now do a cobblestone wall on top of those stairs and do polished andesite again 
like that by six, and then one there like so. Take your uh, Stonebrook stairs, you're gonna do three there, and then three cyan, and three stone slabs like that. And then just do a cyan there, cyan there. Now, taking your green uh, terracotta, you're gonna do a row across and around, and it's just gonna do the same thing as last time, except this time no, uh, or actually, yeah, do a uh, set of four cyan again. And now you want to do a, a layer of lime. So this actually happens on all of the builds in the series. There is a layer of lime towards the top, and that's that's that one. There is also one down here as well, which is a, a little bit different. But yeah, now we're up here. Uh, this is actually the roof section. So what, what you want to do is take stone slabs. You're going to wrap this all the way around, uh, like so. Uh, and yeah. In the uh, roof itself, you're just going to do cyan, like so. We do have a few little details to just do on top. You're gonna take a green terracotta, you're gonna do a row across the left hand side like so. So remember, we're still facing this way, so that's the left hand side. And you're gonna take stone slabs and just go across like so. Then a row of stone brick slabs, like that. And then one here, one here. Two there, two there, two there, two there. Like so. And da -da -da, that's everything. So that's, actually no, that's not everything. We've got to do the, uh, the smokestacks. So <laughs> yeah, let's move on to the smokestacks. So the uh, smokestacks are pretty simple. We've already done three layers of them. Uh, what we want to do from here is we want to just carry on this stone pattern. What you want to do is seven stone. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And basically just do that all the way around. Uh, so yeah, it does take a little while to do this, but yeah, it's not too bad and they get thinner as we get higher up so uh, it's pretty cool now you've done seven of those now on the bottom two you're gonna do two more cobblestone walls on the back sides um, like so obviously do the same for the other one uh, a bit easier on this one because I can just judge it uh, based on the height of the other one so I don't have to count seven every time uh, like so so that's six and then seven like so, and obviously the two uh, cobblestone walls on the bottom. Now once you've done that, uh, we go in by one layer, so this is like that, and then you can do five of those, so two, three, four, five, like so, one, two, uh, three, four, five, and then all around it you're gonna do cobblestone walls uh, on those five. Now once we've done that, does take a little while but once we've done that we're gonna do a row of lime going around uh, I'll show you in a second <sighs> this is boring and there we go now once you've done that you're gonna take lime just do a two by two like so and then do three more rows of uh, stone like that one two three now what you want to do on the top this is the very last block is a Basically, you want to do a corner stair until it does that, basically. Uh, it really depends on how you place them, but sometimes it doesn't do it, and it just kind of creates an open, like, thing. Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, let's see if I can get it to do it on this one. Uh, yeah, like that. So what you want to do is just mess around until it joins up. So, yeah, kind of like that. There we go. And then, yeah, once you've done that, that's the smokestacks done. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, the last thing we will do is the like pit thing at the bottom, but that's pretty simple. And I'm not actually gonna do that block for block, but I'm gonna show you how you can do it. Okay, so what you wanna actually do is just create kind of a three by something pit. Uh, you wanna dig down about four or five blocks, really. I'll show you on the other one. Uh, I can't really do it block for block because it does require a lot of digging and then a lot of replacing. But yeah, you wanna dig down, uh, how many blocks is this, let's see, okay, six. So what you do is dig, that, uh, dig down by six blocks um, beneath this kind of uh, row of, yeah, checkered pattern. And then uh, basically, yeah, just, you wanna do that. Uh, I'm gonna show you, um, just, I can't really, I can't really demonstrate it through tutorial because I haven't dug the hole, uh, but yeah. That's basically what you need to do. Now, if you want to take a look at that, and if you want to have that hole, um, then do that. But I'm not going to do that in this one, I'm afraid. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, just kind of do this. It's it's pretty 
pretty easy and it's a lot less detailed in here than it is in the game uh, and that's just because it would it would require a lot larger tutorial and honestly the series is big enough as it is so yeah so yeah you've got this just dig down by six blocks fill in the walls with cyan or uh, andesite really doesn't matter and then just kind of um, add a bit more to these little arms and, and you've got it done so yeah guys that's going to be it uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video goodbye